Hey guys, uh, this was sent to me by Flashlight Go. So this is the Manka MC13 version 2 uh, with the luminous SPT 90.2 LED. Uh, so this takes an 18350 battery uh, and it's what uh, what is bundled uh, with it and it also takes an 18650 battery. Uh, this tail cap uh, unscrews a bit and the, the tube extends out to take an 18650 battery. Uh, which is very cool to have it all built into the one light. You don't have a separate extension tube uh, that you need to screw on. Uh, so you're not going to lose anything. Uh, so that's it's just great. Um, so you've got a smooth reflector, side switch, good feel to it, no play, good, uh, good click to it. Uh, with a battery status indicator in the center. Uh, USB type C charging. Good uh, style and design on this, um, good build quality, so a bit of um, kneeling on the body and then you've got a uh, lanyard attachment and a magnetic tail cap on this. So very cool little light, puts out a lot of output uh, for the size, I'm very impressed, especially coming from like the Workos TS11. Uh, but it is, of course, something you would expect to be better because it costs a lot more. Uh, but I, th I think it's well worth it. There are some negatives that will go over uh, and you can decide for yourself. Uh, with an 18350 battery, it uh, is rated at 4000 lumens. And uh, so I'll just show you the little battery that comes with it. So it's the Manka battery, and I'll just show you this tube here. So if you unscrew the tail here, it extends out to take an 18650, which is very cool. Uh, so you have got a spring um, at the end of that tube, and then a spring on the driver. So I'll just uh, reassemble this. Yeah, so with the, with the 18350 battery, it's rated at 4,000 lumens. Uh, and with an 18650 battery, it's rated at 4,500 lumens. Uh, with a range of 600 meters to 665 meters. Uh, it fell short of those specs. Uh, and mostly just the 18350 battery, it achieved 2,580 lumens. Uh, I think it was. And, uh, you know, that's around about what I expected, to be honest. It's quite a uh, power-hungry um, LED. Uh, so it got uh, closer with an 18650, but still still short of what was advertised. Uh, and for the range as well, I won't go through that too much. That's uh, going to be all up on the footage that's coming next. Um, so the beam profile on this is not amazing, um, but it's something uh, that I, it doesn't bug me uh, a massive amount. Uh, so for the SBT 90.2, you've got um, a large hotspot, and in the center of that, it's uh, dimmer than the outside of the hotspot. So I uh, saw that in the workos. TS30S Pro uh, review that I did it had the same thing uh, and I don't know what the cause is from that. Someone mentioned that it's due to the reflector being uh, too small for the LED used and but I you know, I just don't know myself uh, whether that's right or not uh, but it is in uh, quite a few models out there. Uh, so You've got the hot spot in the center, and then around that is the corona, and then just around that corona is uh, a ring. Um, and then outside of um, the spill, there is a couple of rings on the outer of the beam. Uh, not uh, not too major, but it's uh, that's just what it is. Uh, the UI on this, so if you hold from off, you get um, Moonlight 1, which is uh, 0.1 lumen, uh, and then you've got three levels, which goes up to uh, one and a half lumens, uh, just by ho holding that switch.
Uh, one massive thing that I really hate about the UI is that you can't go from moonlight to up to low. Uh, you have to turn it off and then it will turn back on on either what, uh, on either low, medium or high, just whatever you were last using. Um, and so yeah, it's one, one press on and then hold goes low, medium and high and then loops back around. Uh, double press goes to turbo, double press drops it back down to your last level. One press always turns it on and off and then you got triple press for strobe, hold, cycle through, uh, SLS and beacon. Uh, four clicks goes to lockout. And then while it's in lockout, if you press the, the switch, it will start doing like a breathing effect of the blue LED turning on and off, let you know it's in that state. And uh, yeah, very, uh, very, very simple UI. I just really hate not being able to get to low from the moonlight. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's not uh, a whole lot of issues with it. Uh, the It gets really, really hot though, this light. Uh, on the head, um, I got uh, up to 67 degrees Celsius uh, just before it stepped down off that turbo. And uh, on the body at one point it was 60 degrees Celsius, so it's definitely not one to it's definitely not one to leave on and put down. You need to monitor it and drop it back uh, a level if you find it getting a bit uncomfortable. And so uh, on my last uh, video of the Nightwatch NS14, I mentioned that I'm not going to be doing runtime graphs anymore just because I don't have the time. Well, I was really curious. So I did the runtime of the 18350 uh, battery as well as a Molly Cell P28A 18650 battery just to see what kind of lumens it could sustain for the SBT 90.2. Because uh, I tested the Workos TS30S Pro and I uh, was not impressed at all and it's just so sort of amusing to see the size difference of this little light compared to the much larger TS30S Pro and they both perform around the same for sustainable output and so that to me is just very very impress impressive um, for the size so it's very a very fun light to use so the, the only negatives on it with it was the UI uh, not being able to get from moonlight to low uh, the specs not been reached, uh, particularly for the 18350, the beam profile a bit, the dark center, and uh, the you know the temperature maybe. Um, I'm quite happy with it getting hotter. I can drop it back down. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the footage and you can uh, make up your own mind uh, about it. Thanks, guys.